Hey, this is Mr. Mason and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice simplifying expressions using the laws of exponents. So what we have here are a couple of expressions that involve multiplying variables together. Now the rule is, is that when you are multiplying variables that are the same, you simply take their exponents and you add them together. So let's take a look at this first example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the a's first and look at their exponents. This is a to the third and a to the second. And all we do is we write that variable one time and take their exponents and add them together. So we have 3 plus 2, which would give us a to the fifth. And when we multiply the b's together, b to the second times b to the third would be b to the fifth. Now, why is this true? Well, it's just because if you write these terms in expanded form, a to the third would just be a times a times a times a to the second is a times a. So if we write this in exponential form, that would give us a to the fifth. And if we did the same thing with our b's, we have b squared, or just b times b, and then we have b cubed, or b times b times b, which would give us b to the fifth. But you don't have to go writing these in expanded form. Just follow the rules that say that when you multiply variables that are the same, you simply add their exponents. All right, let's take a look at the second example here. So notice that this time we have some negative exponents, but we still follow the same rule. So let's take our a variables and multiply those together. So we just write the variable a one time. Now we just take our exponents, which are 3 and negative 2, and add those together, and that would give us positive 1. Now whenever you have 1 as an exponent, you actually don't write anything there. So if you do not see any exponents, that simply means it is to the first power. All right, let's go ahead and multiply the b variables together. So we have b to the fourth times b to the negative second. And we still add those exponents together. So when we combine 4 and negative 2, that is positive 2. So this is this expression in simplest form. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple of more examples. All right, we have another expression here where we're just multiplying a bunch of variables. So once again, all we do is we take the variables that are the same and just add their exponents. So let's go ahead and start with multiplying the a's together. So we have negative 5 for this exponent and positive 2 for this exponent. And when you add those together, you get negative 3. And when you multiply the b's together, we have to add the exponent of 4 and negative 2, which gives us positive 2. Now, for your answer, you cannot leave an exponent negative. So if that happens, what you do is, if there is no fraction bar, you have to create one. And then you take that variable and the negative exponent, and you write it on the other side as a positive. And really what that is, is it is the reciprocal. Now, just to demonstrate, let's just imagine we add 3 to the second power. We know that is equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, if you add 3 to the negative second power, that is simply equal to 1 ninth, which is the reciprocal of 9. So all we're really doing is we're taking something that has a negative exponent and writing it as a positive value by stating it as its reciprocal. All right, let's take a look at this expression right here. So we have a to the third times a to the negative third. So if we add 3 and negative 3, what we would have is 0. So we have a to the 0 power. Now remember, anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. And when we multiply the b's together, we have b to the negative third, because negative 5 and positive 2 has a sum of negative 3. Now remember, we are not allowed to leave our exponent negative, so what we have to do is we make a fraction bar and we move this to the other side. We write that as b to the positive third. So this expression simplified would be 1 over b cubed, or b to the third power. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.